Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings, where we are currently wanting very badly to reform our culture, but we can't do that for another seven years. So that's fine. I looked around here at who we are truced with, and the answer is yes. We are truced with all of them, except Vladimir. We could definitely attack Vladimir here, and we do have... That's a de jure territory? I'm confused. Why would that be de jure? We don't know the Empire title of Russia. We could definitely take the Volga Earl Empire title. That's certainly something we can do. Kazaria? Yeah, we could do that. Tataria? Sure. Why not? While we're at it, let's just go through the rest of these. We're looking for Empire titles. Obviously, we already have that one. Yeah, that's to be expected. Let's see. All of these empire titles we currently possess. Germania we can't get yet. Britannia we possess. Okay. So that's all of them then. Phenomenal. So we go over to Vladimir then. And yeah, this is just the one de jure territory. I have no idea why this is apparently de jure ours. The Duchy of Novosio. It's not created, and we don't hold the other side of it. That's confusing. I don't claim to understand what's going on there. This guy, however, he has a claim on the entire kingdom of Vladimir. And so we'll press that. Absolutely. Are you the right religion? He is not. We could demand his conversion. I'm going to send him a gift first. Who cares about gold? And we're then going to demand his conversion. 92% chance. Perfect. He does convert, and we're going to declare on Vladimir then. This is a way better claim than this county that I have no idea why it's de jure ours. This will make it guaranteed de jure ours, and I'll understand why. So that seems absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever there. We're going to hop over here and raise up our men at arms. There's no castle holding over here. So it would end up being like down this way. Okay. We'll raise... Actually, we don't need to raise all of our troops here. We're going to raise our levy troops and men-at-arms separately. There we go. We have a few ransom requests. Help yourself to the treasury. You need it. We definitely don't. We've got over half a million gold in our treasury and counting. It's, it's a lot. So we see some troops over here. That's absolutely fine. We'd love to go fight them. We're going to have our men-at-arms shortly. We probably have more than enough levies, right? Oh, yeah, this is plenty. Absolutely more than enough. We're going to head on in. And there's a scheme at court. I can't say I'm shocked about that one. Now, we are one vassal above, and this is going to put us two vassals above our limit. So that's going to be mildly awkward for us, but we'll just get this siege over. 17%? Okay. I had hoped that we would have ended up getting some decent captures out of that and just ending the war outright, but nope, no such luck. That is fine. We're going to split off our siege forces. We'll have this be... They have, like, what, 50k? Seems fine. We'll do something like that, and we'll head up and see about fighting them. And we'll need a siege leader here, other than ourselves, ideally. This guy will do. Magnificent. So over we head, we're going to fight the majority of their forces over here while we continue to siege. They're running away, but we are going to catch them. And the question is, are they going to actually try to do anything about that? They are leaving those forces behind. That was almost half of their army that they just abandoned. That's insane. Also, this war's over. Okay, we're at 99. Now the war is over. No additional commands are required. And we were murdered only slightly. It doesn't actually matter. That doesn't change anything, really. So that's fine. What is this guy's uh, education? He is intrigue. Okay, that's fine. Whatever. We're going to do strategy focus here. Cool. And we'll just continue persecuting this war. No issues here. I guess prosecuting the war is the correct term. So that'll be fine. War is now over. We will enforce those demands and disband our troops. 
Magnificent. So, yeah, this guy did indeed become our vassal, as expected. We should be two vassals above, but we're one vassal above, which is intriguing. Not exactly sure what happened there, but that's fine. So we need counselors. Dying there is completely irrelevant, though, to be honest. Okay. Now we need a stewardship wife. This current wife is a stewardship wife, so that is absolutely fine. We can bump her over to managed domain. That puts us at 11 out of 10. And the Mongol Empire is our primary title. We probably want to change that. Okay, so we're going to have this be our primary title. There we go. That's more like it. Phenomenal. Are we the correct religion and culture? We are. Looks good. This faction is... Okay, that's probably going to be a bit of an issue. We'll probably have to fight them. After that, I'm not expecting further issues. So that should be reasonably fine. We are a domain limit up at this point. So do we have a title that we can hand out? We have our armored horseman based here. Not really, is the answer. Can we get a spouse with even higher stewardship? Actually, yes. So this is skill 25 as opposed to 24. And we'll make her be our primary spouse. And we'll let that update. Sadly, that did not get us what we needed to get up to 11 of 11. Very unfortunate. Well, we could definitely get ourselves an additional spouse, but none of them have higher stewardship skills. It doesn't really matter. We just want to fill out these slots, ultimately. So that's reasonably fine. Who is this guy? Our vassal? Okay, sure. I wouldn't mind getting some alliances. That wouldn't be the worst thing right now when we've got this brewing up. So this is the whole thing. This is an independence faction. We're almost certainly going to have to let them fire and fight them. So that's going to be exciting. Being at 11 out of 10 domain limit is definitely awkward for us. We could grant out this county. I would really prefer not to. Hmm. I kind of regret going on to strategy focus right away. We should have gone on to domain focus. We'll switch over to that in a couple of years here. It's 1368, so we can do that in 1373. That'll be fine. I'm not too concerned about it. Being one above is not the end of the world. So these guys are going to fire relatively soon, although their faction is dwindling in power. They're down to 191%, which is fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Well, we're going to have to let them fire. It's a good thing we're truced with literally everybody up here, I guess. We're... Well, actually, we won't be because we just inherited. We That'll have wiped out all of our truces. So that's no longer a thing. Noted. But we have to handle this. We're not going to go to war with other people right now. We gotta handle this. Everybody, I think, hated our previous guy. Yeah, he had a lot of tyranny that he had built up early on in his life. And also, he really had a lot of offensive wars. <laughs> no doubt about that. There was a lot of that going on. So we're two months away at this point. Let's assume that the King of England is going to be the leader here. I think it's reasonably likely. We're going to raise our men-at-arms here. We're going to raise all of our other units here. We're just preemptively raising at this point. The Magnificent Urn was destroyed. Okay, sure. That's fine. All of that is okay. Yes, show in this guy and his gold. We have way too much gold. They're still there. They switched down to one month away. Cool. So our men-at-arms are going to arrive when? I didn't want to come back here. Our men-at-arms are going to arrive when? The answer is 35 days around the time that they're eligible to send their ultimatum. It's still the King of England that is the leader of this faction. So that's good. We want him to remain the leader of the faction. And at this point, 
anytime he wants to send it is fine. We'll continue gathering up here. But anytime he wants to send this, that would be completely okay. And here it is. We will not be threatened. We will rally the troops. And yes, some of our forces are going to desert here. I want to continue gathering. But I also want to reset these guys to get them sieging. Perfect. So that'll be fine. We see a large force gathering over here. And to that end, we're going to split off our bombards here. And we're going to start moving these guys southward. Then I'm going to split off the majority of these forces. And that's going to be slightly tedious. We're going to split off probably... I should have gone the other way with this, I feel like. But we're going to split off probably 100k here. And leave them as our siege force. Something like this. And the rest of our units are going to head out. But I'm going to stop their gather. Game froze for a moment. There we go. We're back. Phenomenal. And we're going to head on down. We're going to take a big ol' attrition hit here. That's understood. We need to eliminate this force. I also want a siege commander up here. So who is that going to be? Do we have a siege commander who's not rebelling against us right now? Yes, this guy. Phenomenal. So that looks great. We're going to head on over this way. There's that tick of our units disappearing. Yeah, that's to be expected. Out of curiosity, did West Francia rebel? It did not. Okay, so we're going to raise up some forces down over here. That looks great. Yeah, this, this seems super manageable. I don't think this is a problem at all. Yeah, they're going to start up a bunch of sieges on us, but that's expected. Cool. We do need some counselors, so we need a chancellor. We need a steward. And we need a spy master. We'll do something kind of like that. And we're going to need to continue to siege up over here as quickly as we can, of course. So we win that battle, and we're going to make our way back up. Wonderful. Okay, this seems absolutely fine for now. I'm wondering where these guys are going to go. Of course, we're way over our supply limit here. That's not shocking. So we should probably think about chasing this guy down. That attrition tick is slightly painful, but it's not the worst thing in the world. I would like to come up here and fight him. So I think that's okay. Yeah, this is absolutely fine. They are going to try to bring in additional forces, but I don't think that they have sufficient numbers in this area to deal with this force. They do have sufficient numbers overall. They have 1.3 million, right? They have a significant advantage over us in that regard. So that's fine, but we're at 58% war score right now. And we do have another faction brewing here. That's Catholic Populists and Orthodox Populists and a Liberty Faction. Okay, I'm not concerned about any of that, to be honest. That is completely okay. We're going to continue to siege and continue to win these battles. We are at 1% from battles. Okay. That is not a lot of battle war score. That's a very good sign, actually. So these guys are retreating, and I'm not sure where exactly they're going to be retreating to. But they're certainly retreating somewhere. Presumably down this way, maybe? These guys are a potential problem. No, they're going further south. Okay, that seems absolutely fine then. We know that they're they're firing up a bunch of sieges, right? That is definitely a thing that is happening. We did just inherit this mosque, and that needs to be dealt with. We do not want to hold this. We're already over our domain limit. So we'll do something about that. There we go. Cool. They have started some siege... Or rather, they've started to finish some sieges. We're definitely out, outpacing them on their sieging. So that's great. We're going to head on in down here. We're bringing reinforcements in as well. They will be arriving soon enough. I don't want them to actually go this route. I want them to come in here and then go directly like that. There we go. That'll do. So we won that battle and we actually stack wiped that unit. That was kind of huge. That was an 80k stack wipe there. And it was still only worth 3% war score. Okay. That's not a lot of war score. 
I mean, they have a lot of troops, right? They're down to 123,000. Not 123,000. 1.23 million is the number of troops they're down to. So that's a lot. No doubt about that one. We're going to come on in and reinforce here. These sieges are still underway. And we do have ticking war score starting up here. So he's probably going to stop moving here, right? Actually, he didn't. Remarkably. Okay. We're going to continue to siege up here. We're at 72% from occupation. And ticking is, of course, starting. So, we're going to need to come up here and do some battling. That's absolutely fine. We are delighted to give battle here. Absolutely happy to. We will continue to siege. There we go. We're stack wiping these. Great. And over we head. We'll see about getting more of this. We're down to 65% because they have occupied some, some areas. That's okay. We have plenty more in the tank that we can get from occupation. I'm thinking this is a lot of attrition down over this way, but it's probably okay. Broadly. So that's fine. We're at 77 now. We caught this force. Okay. He gains an unpressed claim. Sure. I would like to make our way out over this direction. I think that there's more attrition happening out here, but that's mildly awkward. More than anything. Okay. Yep, there is more attrition there. Uh, sure, that's a worthwhile endeavor. That seems fine. Okay. So more stack wipes are occurring out over here. As expected. We're never going to eliminate all of their forces, though, right? That's definitely a thing that's not going to happen anytime soon. We're at 90% from occupation. They are starting to get a bunch of sieges finished. So things are starting to get a little bit more even right now. They're starting to catch up a bit on their occupation. But they are currently incapable of winning this war. I want to point that out. They cannot do it at this juncture. It is not possible for them to win. So that's good. We're going to continue to stack wipe these guys over here. And you might ask, why is it impossible for them to win? It's because of math. The answer is math. If we look at this, we can see that they can gain another, like, 75, 74 war score from occupation. That is not enough to bring them to minus 100. It's not possible for them to win at this juncture. Is it possible for us to win at this juncture? Eh, ish. Okay, so we just had... Oh, this is interesting. A lot of these populists broke out in their existing territories. They're probably going to end up fighting a lot of these populists for us. That's fascinating. So we're going to have a lot of populists that we need to deal with, right? No doubt about that. However, this independence faction is the bigger threat here. So we're going to deal with the independence faction, and we'll deal with some populists as we can. But we need to hit 150% on our occupations first. That is our first, our first goal here. So we're going to eliminate this populist force here. No problem there. These populist forces in general aren't going to be a big problem. We do need a new steward, and it'll be this guy. I'm wondering what this other dangerous faction is. Yeah, more populists. With our murder that happened last, not last episode, but at the beginning of this episode, I'm not shocked that we're having some issues at this moment. We have to assert ourselves right now and get this all taken care of. So that's fine. We're at 123% from occupation. We need to make our way in. Cool. So we know that we have 21% from defender controlling war target. That will continue to be up there. I see this force down here. We're just going to fight these guys here right now. And then I'm going to hop up over this way. Actually, we just captured the war leader from the Catholic Uprising. So the Catholic Uprising's over. That's remarkable. I did not anticipate that happening there. I did not even know where the Catholic leader was. But that's great. We're very, very happy about that one. The next question becomes, 
what happens when we fight these guys down here. We obviously need to. Ticking Warscore being on our side is amazing. I want to double check that they're not attacking our capital. They're nowhere near our capital. Okay, good to know. So that's absolutely fine. We're going to get this siege over. So that brings us up to 80% war score, and then we'll hop on over this way. So they're at 101 from occupation now. That's absolutely fine. I don't care about this. I don't know if we're going to catch them here. I'm going to issue this order. Okay, so this is the Khazar Orthodox uprising. That's probably a much less large uprising. Yeah, 300k. That's super manageable. So we'll just, we'll just ignore those for now. That's absolutely fine. We're going to catch this force down here, I think. Or at least part of it, maybe. Which would be good. And we'll continue to siege here. We're at 149 from our sieges at this point. So we're going to have to start sieging back very shortly. And we're getting the stack wipe done. Beautiful. Wait a second. We just captured the leader of the independence war. Okay, well that was also very lucky. So we'll enforce these demands. All of these guys are going to be imprisoned. Just like that. And now we need to deal with the Orthodox Uprising. So that's all out over here, right? That's a ways away. How are we going to go about getting there? Well, we can bring these guys... Do we just disband? How long would it take them to re-raise? Now, this is going to take a bit to calculate. Okay, maybe a long time. Three years to return home. Okay, I think it's very likely that we can make it over here before three years. So, down this direction. So, we would end up landing somewhere over here. Yeah, we would arrive there in seven months. So that's definitely the easier way to do that. Sounds good. So off we go. We can also raise additional forces out over here now. And we may well want to do that. So I'm going to raise us up another army over here. And we'll see about taking out all these populists. The only reason these popped, I think, is because of the... Oh, look at that. Allies over here. The only reason these popped, I think, is because of the existing factions. So that's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. Yeah, we'll stop being rivals. Sounds good. So where is the war leader here? Oh, he's down over here. So we might be able to capture him as well. That would be really, really convenient. Our ally is coming in over here. I don't know where our troops are right now. They should be getting kind of close-ish. Eh, kind of close-ish. How's this raise doing? It's got more than enough. So we're going to send these guys on over here, and we're just going to start going around and stack wiping these little stacks with that army is going to be the goal. But I'm interested in finding out if we end up capturing the leader here. I think that the leader is involved in that battle. Yes, he is. Okay, so no leader captured there. So the next question is, where is he now? He's up over here. Oh, apparently there's nothing there. Where is he? He's located in this location. Okay. But he's not actually leading an army. Mildly irritating. We're going to be bringing our forces, of course, up over here. If they're going to be taking this out, I think we're going to be landing somewhere around here instead. That'll be fine. How are things going down here? Yeah, we're going to take out that force, no problem. So we find ourselves at minus 19 right now, right? Because of occupations. So we're going to have to handle these occupations. Where are these? So we've got this one. Right, so it's this kind of light green color. I don't think this was one of them. No, I don't believe so. They're going to be kind of spread out. Minus 41. They're getting a lot of war score from this. That is not the button I wanted. Okay. They are getting a lot of war score from this. No doubt about that. Well, it's back to minus 45 now. So that's good. In fact, I'm going to disembark here. I'd like to eliminate this force. Okay. 
So we'll do that for now. And these guys are going to head up this way. Cool. So most of it's up over here. They're getting a crazy amount of war score from sieges out here, though. No doubt about that. What happens if they loot, if, the, if they win? Rebelling counties become an independent realm with this guy as the ruler. We can probably take that back over right quick, right? If that happens, most likely. So that would be okay. I do want to grab Bellum Justum for right now. It is 1371 at this moment. So the real question at this juncture is, how long will it take us to get like out over here? 14 months? Okay, do it. Just get heading there. These guys are going to be running around cleaning up some of these forces up here. And that's fine. We'll apparently arrive here in two months. That looks good. Minus 81. They're getting insane amounts of war score from this. We just can't get here fast enough. 92%. Look at all that war score. Minus 100%. So they're just going to enforce their demands here. We actually just straight up lose that. That is insane. Okay. So all of these became independent and we're going to have to reconquer them. This is going to take very little time, to be honest. That was insane how much war score they got from those couple of really spread out sieges, though. No doubt about that. We simply couldn't show up in time. So we're going to have to do some reconquest over here. That's fine. We're going to immediately get started on it. And most of these we should have de jure claims on. This is a kingdom tier realm? We have a truce with some of these. Okay. Well, this is going to take a little bit of time to reconquer, but we are definitely going to. There's no doubt about that. It seems like these king levels we have a truce with. It's insane how much war score they got there. It was literally not possible for us to stop that. Okay. So we're going to do that. That's a next episode sort of thing. We're going to conquer significant portions of this back anyway. That was nuts. I don't think it was possible to do anything about that situation. So, okay. <laughs> we're going to have to conquer this back. It won't be a big deal. We have the empire titles. We have de jure claims on every single thing here. So we can just conquer these very, very quickly. It's going to just be a matter of getting to them right? And waiting out the truces for some of these larger areas. So it's mostly, I'm pretty sure, just the kingdoms, but this is a county tier realm out over here? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to have to just kind of grab from like, we're going to have to grab what we can. Truces are going to be weird, but it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we'll deal with this situation. Awkwardness, but I really don't think there was anything we could have done about it. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time when we are going to do some conquering. There's some people who need punishment, no doubt about that.